In his fifth state of state address, Governor Stitt says Oklahoma is as strong as it's ever been. Cameron, I'm standing outside of Max Westheimer Airport where 106 Norman Public High School students are taking their education to new heights. Students I spoke to described vaping as a culture here on campus, making it hard to quit. It's easy for students to walk into stores just like this one and pick up a vape. In addition, I've got a portable tire pump and a set of jumper cables in the back of my car when I'm in a pinch. Whenever Gina's name came on the screen, the whole room erupted into cheers. So there is definitely some positive energy in this room ahead of a very tight race. I attended this session today and Stitt says he wants to support teachers and mentioned that Oklahoma is one of the first states to offer a reward of six figures for some teachers. For homeowners like the ones of the houses destroyed right behind me, it's hard to see a silver lining in the scenario when pieces like this are scattered around the neighborhood. This is devastation. I've never seen anything like this. That's the sentiment coming from neighbors in the area the tornado hit last night. Not all were watching the weather. We wasn't given much warning. It just like she came running out of bed and said, Gigi, there's the alarm had just went off. And as soon as she came in, it just like the window busted. Yeah, we, we were quite scared. I mean, to me, it sounded like a train going by. After the storm passed, it was neighbors who first extended helping hands. After everything, you know, no more warning and everything, they came and knocked on everybody's door, and that touched my heart. They're good people. This morning, after the shock of the storm, the new challenge of cleaning up really starts. I start with uh, taking pictures, getting the insurance company involved, and cleanup starts today, I guess. Today, as residents sweep through the debris, they are thankful. I just thank God for the, the, the fine law enforcement, fire department, linemen. Thankful for their safety and neighbors to lean on. And, and we're all just thankful that we're alive and we're here to help each other out. Be home before dark. Saturdays at the Norman East Library are pretty quiet. So quiet, you can hear Willa snoring as Eli reads to her. The idea is that kids can grow confident in their reading by feeling non you know, not judged. The Positive Reading Buddies program began when the library resumed their in-person programming after the pandemic. During COVID, when people were kind of having untraditional schooling and stuff, I feel like there was a lot out there about just kids getting behind. According to the nation's report card, only 55% of fourth graders in Oklahoma we're reading at a basic level or higher in 2022. We just thought it fit perfectly with where we were in the world. Anytime someone can practice reading aloud. I love hearing about new things. I think that boosts their reading skills and their confidence. Some libraries in Norman already had this program, but Willa, the therapy dog, has a sweet spot like for Norman East. We had this really great connection with Willa and with her owner, Amber, because Amber works part-time for the library. This is how kids get better, um, is by being, by reading, being read to and reading. Nine-year-old Aaliyah agrees. Willa um, is a really good dog, and I think everybody should read to her. Olivia Daig, OU Nightly. Good morning, it's Friday, July 22nd. I'm Olivia Daig. Early risers, thanks for joining KSL today. And scary movies and haunted houses aren't the only thing to be frightened by this season. Halloween inflation is spooking consumers' wallets. Story you'll only see on KSL, a Logan family is crediting a carbon monoxide detector for saving their lives. They are hoping their story will prompt us all to check our homes for these safeguards. Rushing to file your taxes early, you might want to wait. Last year, 18 states handed out some sort of rebate, and the IRS isn't quite sure how to tax those on a federal level. Michigan State University is in shock and mourning after three students were fatally shot Monday night on campus.